plays, working some plays. Oh, he's, 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 he's always uh, dissecting us uh, every day, and, um, and he even wants me to set him practice home and all that kind of stuff. I just tell him, no, I can't. <laughs> We're not allowed to. So. <laughs> Well, after having a chance to, to look at the film, what about your performance and that of the offense as a whole? Offense as a whole, we, we did a very good job. Um, I was proud of a lot of guys, and I'm proud of myself and the way I carried myself. Um, you know, definitely had a few mental mistakes. Uh, you know, that's that's always going to happen in the first game of the year. Um, but that's something that we need to correct very quickly um, against a good team that we're playing this week. You feel like you left some yards out there, especially in the first half? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, we, we definitely didn't uh, accomplish all of our goals like we would like to. A um, few times in the red zone there, um, we got to make sure that we put it in and, and score. Because um, this week, we, we can't settle for field goals. It was good that we we were able to drive the field and, and score points when we needed to, but we, we need to put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, you seem to develop such a good relationship with Gerald. You lose him for these important games. How devastating could that be for you guys? Um, well, really, the way I look at it is, I look at it, it's just, it's really devastating for Gerald himself because he's worked so hard this off season, and uh, you know, going into his senior year, you don't want to miss some of the biggest games of the year, especially uh, this one coming up and the ones in, in a few weeks. And um, I, I really do feel terrible for him. I really do because I've really gotten to know him these past uh, these past few months. Um, but now it's time for these young freshmen to step up and make a lot of plays for us, and they're going to have to. Are you ready for that? Uh, it's it's not a question of uh, are they ready, but they 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 better be ready, you know. And um, it's it's going to be tough on them. There's going to be a lot asked of them. Uh, I'm going to be tough on them in practice and make sure that they're lined up right and doing the right things. And um, you know they they need to step up and make plays. Other than that, just just a little bit. Well, that's one thing I, I believe that uh, we, we do well overall as a wide receiver core is just um, that they block really well down the field. And Denarius and Gerald are two of the best in the country. Um, the good thing was is that they've been doing it in practice um, and in camp, and they showed Justin and Jarek how to do it. And on one of the plays where, where Torrance scored there in the third quarter, uh, Justin did a great job of sealing the corner off, and uh, Torrance was able to score. So. Um, th these young guys, they, they have a lot of the, uh, the ability to do those type of things that they were doing. Talk about Zach Rogers to me. Guy and guy in all the discussions and now he's been an important part. Well, he's always been an important part, but since now with this injury, he's, he's going to be out there in the front and, and we're going to rely on him a little bit more. He's one of those guys, he knows the offense very well. So this transition for him to be put in different positions, uh, maybe in Gerald's position, a few other places, it'll, it'll come rather easy to him because he knows the offense pretty well. He <laughs> um, told me a bunch of stuff, really. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to take it all in after the game because you're excited and you just want to hang out and hang out with the family. But um, he just said that he was proud of me. Um, he was uh, he was really excited to, to sit in there in the stands and he, he loved the atmosphere of uh, the, the the volunteer crowd. He just he said it was unbelievable. Um, he did say it was better than Texas, so uh, I can't wait to rub that into my brother a little bit. I believe that was his first game. Yeah. So when my brother was being recruited, I actually don't believe my brother came to a game here. So. Um, that was his first first experience in this in this environment. What do you know about Morgan's speed? Uh, speed, speed, and more speed. And uh, they're going to be a lot faster than the team we just played. Um, Tennessee Moore had a lot of good players, but uh, Oregon, you know, they're they're supposed to win the Pac-10 championship this year, or one of the uh, contenders for it. Um, they're they're going to be one of those teams where we need to come out early and start early and play fast and uh, be aggressive and uh, we can't we can't get down early how, in that idea how important is it to have guys like uh, Taran and, and David who can really push the center well 
really it's going to start with our offensive line. Um, you know, we're one of those teams, just like uh, the majority of the SEC, where we want to play physical football and uh, use a lot of two backs and two tight end looks. And um, you know, that's that's who we are. That's our identity that we found in the spring and the summer. And uh, we're going to rely on that. You know, we're, we're definitely going to run run the ball a lot and, and, and try and wear them down a little bit. But the biggest thing for us is just to uh, to execute and, and be disciplined and not have penalties like we did this past week. I know Coach Wilcox was on the, the defensive side of so much. You you picked his brain at all about Oregon's defense? Uh, really haven't had time. I haven't even seen Coach Wilcox since the game. He's been uh, in, the, in the defensive film room uh, the, these past few days, and he's just been just been going at it. Um, uh, you, you don't see too many people these first few days because of uh, the game planning and all that goes into it. You mentioned the offensive line. What was your impression of their first half? Awesome. Really impressed. Uh, just everyone was extremely focused in the huddle. Um, I would like it to be like that more often in practice. But uh, out there in the game, they were extremely focused. Uh, it, it was exciting to, to be out there on the field with them. Cody did an unbelievable job of uh, making sure that everyone was was going in the right direction and doing the right thing, and um, him and him and Gerard, they were doing a great job. How big is it for you to have one game that was probably not like big boy ball, big boy ball, as you said, before you come and play Oregon? Now, how big was that game for you? Uh, it was big because we just we, we we needed to see what we had, what we need to improve upon, um, and even though we had a, a mock game before the season, it, it really. You really don't know a lot about yourself until you actually get out there and see what people are like on the field. And uh, those other ten guys in the huddle, they didn't know how I was going to carry myself in the huddle, um, and now they kind of have an idea uh, of what to expect. And uh, from now on, we just got to continue to improve each week. Well, why do you think you, you said you were more nervous starting your JUCO game than you were? Uh, what? Well, Maybe because I knew. Uh, if I didn't do well in junior college, I'd be stuck there forever. So, um, but uh, I, I think, well, what Coach Dooley told me on the sideline, because I actually told him that during the game uh, in the fourth quarter, and he goes, hey, I was more nervous at my La Tech games, and he goes, Sims, that's one thing, it's, it's called experience. And I was like, all right, that was a little wisdom you just put on me real quick, and um, he, he, was he was right about it, too. Um, I just, I have a little more experience. I was prepared for this game, and uh, whenever you're prepared and you feel comfortable about yourself, and the coaches feel confident in you, um, you, you go out there and you perform well. Now, what was Coach Dooley like uh, pre-game in the locker room? With the uh, extremely loose. Didn't seem nervous at all. Um, I, I was talking to the receivers and Coach Cheney a lot, so um, I didn't really get to see him much. But when we, when he kind of made his little pre-game speech, it was. It was real loose, like it's always been. Go out there and perform and, and work hard. And uh, he he made it seem like it was, you know, the spring game or uh, another scrimmage, just uh, just himself. Uh, he was really quick in the third quarter. What happened during that stretch to that happen, and how much help will that be as a possible carryover? Well, I think the biggest thing uh, that happened for us was our little little drop off we had in the second quarter where uh, we had a few penalties. I, I had to delay a game, which was entirely my fault, and I can't let things like that happen. Uh, we came in at halftime and, and kind of regained our focus a little bit. And when we came back out, uh, we just we, we played fast, we played smart, and we didn't make as, as many mental mistakes. And uh, you know those two lessons that we learned really helped us out a lot, and hopefully we can carry that over. Matt, you talked about Oregon speed on defense. What's the fastest? I guess I'd have to say uh, Tennessee Martin because that's the only defense I've played against so far. <laughs> so, uh, but I guess I guess I would have to say that our, our defense, um, you know, the chance is not exactly the easiest guy to, to throw over the top. So, um, but it, it's tough for me to say they're they're probably gonna be the fastest defense I play because uh, I, I haven't played too many games. So, <laughs> Matt, how was that first film session after? You know, with Coach Dooley you know, you the made your first college start. How valuable is that to see yourself on film against somebody besides your own, own team? It was it was actually kind of strange for a minute there because I was just looking up and be like, man, that's that's me right there. Uh, I'm not watching some other quarterback play. And, uh, it was it, it was good. I learned a lot. Uh, learned a lot on the field. 
um, it, it's kind of funny because uh, even before I watched the film, I, I remembered a lot of the things that I could have done better. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of valuable stuff on the film to learn from. And uh, I'm excited to correct it here today. There was one thing that you wish you had done better. What would it be? Um, probably two of my decisions in uh, a long third and third down situation. Um, Luke was was kind of open, and I, I had to pop the ball to him for an easy first down. And uh, definitely my one decision in the red zone, um, where uh, I threw a pass to Gerald. And just uh, I need to see the field a little bit better in, in crucial situations like that. Well, I know that Coach Heath stands an unbelievable coach, and he's going to get them prepared. Um, they did get a lot of chance to, to play th this past week, and they got a lot of game experience. So, uh, you know, if they do have to play and they do have to start the game, uh, I'm sure that they'll be prepared because Coach Heath Stan has done an unbelievable job with these young offensive linemen and making sure they're prepared. And, um, you know, hey, uh, injuries are going to happen, and we just need to fight through them. Thank you.